What happens when your alcohol gets old? Let's take a look, cause I got some old stuff. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails, I'm Derek Schomer. Today what I want to do is take a look at two different spirits, a liqueur and a distilled core spirit to see what happens uh, over time with your alcohol. Now we've done a video, linked above and below, all about does your alcohol get old. So you can either start with that or finish with that. I don't care, just watch my stuff. This is more of a practice. Let's put it to practice. This, my friends, is Casamigos Tequila. I didn't realize how much this cost. This one I got for free, and this one I purchased. It was like $50 for Reposado. Why didn't you guys just send me the bottle? This is brand new, not opened. I should probably open it. Opened. This, probably six to seven years old. Half the bottle is gone, more than half. Loss of oxygen in here. And tequila, on top of which, is supposedly the product that it'll expire the quickest. And by expire, they really don't mean it's gonna poison you or anything bad like that. It's just gonna lose its vibrancy, it's gonna lose its flavor, it's, it's everything. It's just gonna become flat. So I wanna know, is it gonna become flat? So one thing to notice, the reason I use this, because I have a bunch of old stuff, but this Casamigos, this stuff is really good. I wish they were paying me to tell you this, I'm never gonna get money out of them now, but this is some good tequila. Just so that I don't feel bad by giving them a free plug, Siete Leguas is better. That's just fact. Fact! Unfortunately, my Siete Leguas isn't very old, so I can't use that as a basis for comparison. So let's start with the tequila, because I'm excited. <laughs> I already know what's going to happen here, because this is why I'm doing this video to begin with. This one's a little bit more gold, so whatever, I guess. Oxidation can happen. It does happen, and it's going to lose some of its everything. It smells Smells like tequila. It's got a nice sweet smell, like a, almost like a zesty sweet lime, agave, caramel. Definitely, I love the caramel notes that this that this provides. I don't think I've ever done a tasting in Casamigos like this, but anyway, mellow, caramel plays all the way through. Nice agave, sour bite finish. This is a brand new fifty dollar bottle of tequila, as if. As if I didn't have enough alcohol already. This smells much more earthy. It's even more vibrant. It's sharp flavors. The earthy is there's like vegetal, like almost like a soil component. Sea, like the seawater, like the, coming off the ocean. Like if you could picture being at the ocean near some fresh soil as the wind blows up the coast. Visual for your mind. That's what I do. This is my thing. Odd. It has more agave flavor and less candy, uh, caramel, butterscotch flavor that this is bringing. This has a much more uh, sharp, lingering uh, finish to it. And it doesn't have as much of a bite. This is a little bit more stringent. I, stringent might be a little, that might be a little aggressive of a, of, of a term for this. This keeps those warm, caramely candy notes with the, with the, with the soil, vegetal flavor in the aroma, but the taste has a much more focused uh, agave flavor, more like a, a traditional uh, tequila agave, salt, limes, pineapple, ripe banana, that a lot of those components are lost in here, but it's still pretty good. Like this, this is not bad, it's just not as vibrant. This, because of that sharpness, is gonna cut through a lot of the lemons and the limes and the grapefruits, so your pomelos and your margaritas are gonna have a little bit more backbone and structure to the tequila to it. This one, I'll, this one isn't that bad. It's muted and flat and lost a little bit, and it's weird that the, the other flavors, the, the sweeter notes come out of the flavor profile rather than just in the aroma. The brightness and the and the aroma is a thousand times better than this. So that tells me there's a lot more going on. And since your uh, your nasal passage and the aroma that a spirit brings is actually more important than the full taste profile when you're making up the cocktail, you add a little water to that. It's just gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow your mind. Keep your tequila fresh. What does that mean? How do you do that? You need to drink it more. There's a couple of solutions. If you're not a big drinker, I'm not a big drinker and I have way too much to drink. So some of my stuff is definitely gonna lose its quality over time. But the the big key thing here is if you were to put, let's see, 
hold on. This is too large for my example, but if you have a smaller bottle, this is, uh, if you get these flip top uh, bottles, that's not really their name, I can't remember what they're called. Somebody write it below in the comments, the ones that lock in like this. If you get smaller versions of these, which I have, but they're all full of simple syrup at the moment. Um, if you have smaller versions of these, if you buy a different a series of them, they get smaller and smaller. Take the remaining po portions and put it into the smaller vessel. That way you don't end up with a bottle that's full of oxygen, destroying your liquor, or your liquor down here and your, your booze. Uh, you could keep it more tight and confined within a glass vessel that fits it better. This test has already been done because I was building, actually, Jennifer was building a cocktail uh, for, for friends of ours, Dan and Jalitha. You, if, you've, if you're a fan of the show, you, you've seen them on the show before. They've changed the bottle. Um, and we did this, we used this to make the cocktail. Um, if you want to know what the cocktail is, it's a little spicy number. Uh, with tequila and raspberry. If, if you're interested, let me know. We could probably do it on the show, uh, but that's not the purpose of this video. Old bottle, new bottle, obvious. Big, huge, freaking difference. The difference, unfortunately, is very hard for you guys to see. I have a photo. I have an end photo for this, uh, but I I'll put the photo here of the cocktail that Jennifer made, designed. One with fresh raspberry liqueur, recently purchased the other with the old stuff. The color difference is insane. Like, it's not even close. And I've used this last week in a cocktail in, in the French martini, and now I'm wondering if it would have been more purple. This has got a brown, poopy color to it. Uh, looks like, it's just, it, it looks bad. It looks like what happens when oxygen attacks something. It's just get brown. This is, as you'd expect, beautiful purple hue. Hard to see on camera, but you can trust me on this, and my photos hopefully will help. If you smell this by itself, it's it almost has a cherry herring smell to it, like a like a, the brown sugar base, like almost like a cherry brown sugar. This smells like grape juice. Uh, you know. I don't know why, it's it's riser, but it has like a big berry component to it. I would almost say it smells like purple. <laughs> it smells like actual grapefruit, conquer grapes. Light sweetness, um, very medicinal, and it actually brings that brown sugar smell into the flavor with a little light raspberry. Conquer grapes, it has like that, that grape raspberry jelly, um, light much, um, I don't know, it feels like there's a little bit more sugariness to it, which doesn't make any sense because I would think that the alcohol is going away and the leftovers is the sugar, but if the alcohol is dissipating from this, again, super, super old bottle, this is probably eight or longer years old. I, I don't even know. I can't come up with a good excuse as why you'd ever want to use this again. This is going, I'm pouring it down the drain. Uh, it, it's, it lacks its color and its vibrancy it lacks this sh that that nice berry and grape component flavor to it. It brings nothing to the table, and it has a completely different taste than the original. So if if you want to showcase a specific spirit uh, or liqueur that's one of your favorites or whatever, or you want to do a side by side review comparing one thing to another, make sure your product isn't too old. If you're measuring your product in years and you're going to do a taste comparison to something. You need to refresh the product. As much as it's going to hurt your wallet, it's the only solution to this problem. The other solution is you drink it faster, only buy what you need. You should only own products you are going to use. Don't buy spirits just to collect them. If you need to understand a little bit better on how to stock your bar with spirits, link right here. Don't buy stuff just to buy it. It's a waste of your money. They do degrade over time and you're going to be wasting your money. Stop wasting money. Buy product, use product. Now, start spending a little bit of time on common man cocktails. How are you gonna do that? You're gonna click the subscribe button over there, you're gonna pick one of those two videos, and you're gonna adventure along a roller coaster ride of awesome cocktail creation. We're teaching you how to drink.